Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. Top Rank is looking to get 2023 off to a good start for the heavyweight division. A heavyweight doubleheader has been confirmed. FIA Jugba vs. Oscar Rivas and Stefan Shaw vs. Guido Vianello. And there is some divisional relevance here because both these um, sort of heavyweight matchups have something on the line here. In terms of Guido Vianello, he's been a little bit lackluster. Stefan Shaw is looking for a step up and a test, and this could be that. And FIA Jugba looking to prove that the Frank Sanchez loss, which he was embarrassed effectively, was just a blip. Facing Oscar Rivas, who had dropped down to the so-called Bridgeweight division, which is technically at heavyweight in three of the heavyweight divisions. Rivas, he's been relatively inactive, and Ajagba, he needs a good performance. And Rivas is a much smaller man, and that could play a part in this fight. But what we'll do, we'll start with the quotes from the press release, and then a few thoughts, because on paper, very good card for heavyweights. So uh, getting past the promo posters here. So you've got Bob Arum saying the heavyweight division is loaded with talent and we have two 50-50 matchups that will see a pair of contenders emerge at Turning Stone. And I guess just uh, dropping in there, are all these guys contenders? Not necessarily. I mean, FA Jugba may be a fringe contender at best. Oscar Rivas could be regarded as a contender. He's fought at a contender level, say against Dillian White, didn't embarrass himself, still lost the fight. Since then, we really haven't seen much of Rivas. In terms of uh, Stefan Shaw, he's definitely on the fringe, hasn't had any contender level fights. And this isn't necessarily a contender level fight, but it is a good heat check for both. You've got Guido Vianello, who has recently... Well, actually, we'll, we'll hold off. I'll hold off. We'll get to um, a few more of the quotes. And in terms of FIA Jagba, he says, I'm injury-free and ready to show the world what I can accomplish when I'm 100%. I respect Oscar Rivas for accepting the challenge, and we give the fans a great show, but I will be victorious on January 14th. Rivas, he says, I'm extremely happy to be back in the ring in Verona where I had a lot of success not too long ago. And actually, he had a fight with Bryant Jennings, what was it, three or four years ago. That was uh, one that came down to the final round where he stopped Jennings. Actually, he was ahead on the scorecards, two of the three from memory. He continues, I'm proud of my WBC Bridgeweight title. And we'll be defending it soon. But this opportunity Top Rank gave us at heavyweight was too good to pass up. I also have a lot of respect for Jagba. And while I agree with him that it will be spectacular for the fans, my skills and my experience will be the difference. Vianello, so he says, Stefan Shaw is a good undefeated fighter, but I fight better when presented with top opposition. I look forward to fighting on ESPN as part of a great heavyweight double header. Stephen Shaw, also undefeated, says, I'm excited. This is my time to shine. This is my moment. I'm ready to go out there and have some fun. I won't be under the ra radar after beating Guido. He's a good boxer, but I am superior. I will prove that on January 14th. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start with um, FIA Jagba and Oscar Rivas, this matchup. It's this 50-50 I think it's maybe relatively close to that. And I have a few reasons for that because I know quite a few people will automatically say, look, Oscar Rivas is clearly the superior boxer and he's fought at a better level and had success at a higher level. But we also have to consider a few factors. One, he's been very inactive. But two, styles make fights. And this is a very different style matchup for Oscar Rivas. And I think for FIA Jugba, this is a much better matchup for him in terms of the styles compared to someone like Frank Sanchez, who can box and move all night and basically embarrass the Jugba. And first of all, I'll address with what a Jugba said that he's now healthy, ready to show what he can do. Didn't matter if he was healthy or not against uh, Frank Sanchez. Terrible style matchup for him in the end. And even if, you know, it kind of comes off as an excuse. His style, he just doesn't have what it takes 
to hang with someone who can really box and move, work and basically counter punch, as we saw Frank Sanchez basically, you know, slapping him up all night, eventually made a jugba, put his right hand away and also send him to the canvas. In Revis, you've got a very different fighter than a Frank Sanchez. This is a far better matchup, I believe, for a few reasons. One being Oscar Revis is actually quite small compared to a jug, but there's a very big height and reach difference, and it could be a factor. A jugba does have a good jab, and he can keep guys at bay on the outside if there is a height and reach difference here. It's going to be up to Revis to try to get to the inside. And the thing is, Revis doesn't necessarily work that hard in his fights. More fights and bursts. This is going to help a Ajagba because Ajagba does have a good engine where Revis really has to sort of control his output because he is a very small heavyweight in comparison. He's six foot on a good day, but he doesn't have a great gas tank. He'll fight in those bursts to try to get his work away, but then he will basically not do a lot. So a Ajagba, and as we saw against Ali Aaron Demarajan, which was a fun fight a couple of years ago, he can actually just throw a lot of punches. He's got a good engine and volume and activity could be very key for him in this fight. And as we know, he does punch hard. So if he connects with Revis, he could do some damage. But I do expect that Revis will try to make himself small, be elusive, try not to uh, be standing right in front of FIA Jugba. But I do think that he and his strategy, if a Jugba can pressure him, and try to make him work more than he wants to work. There could be success there for FIA Jagba. And for Revis, he's going to really need to, when he gets to the inside, really get some effective work away. And we've seen a Jagba does have a decent chin, but he can be hit, he can be hurt. He has been on the canvas a few times now. There was also Iago Caladze, and as we saw, Frank Sanchez. He's not invulnerable, but he is relatively durable with a relatively good gas tank. So I think this is a better fight for him than, say, someone more of that Frank Sanchez ilk who can box and move and who has a good gas tank and keep going and going and basically counter him. Revis is probably going to have to be looking to draw those counters as well, but we'll see what happens there. But I like that fight. I think that is closer to a 50-50 than the other fight, which is Stefan Shaw versus Guido Vianello. Stefan Shaw has been... I would say, moving in relative obscurity in recent years. He's almost had a couple of decent fights at a certain level that would have sort of helped build his name and reputation. Just recently had a tick over against um, Rydell Booker, where he effectively just used him as target practice over, what was it, eight or ten rounds. And now we have this matchup with Guido Vianello. And for Vianello, he's just looked relatively so-so as he's climbed up the levels. He had that fight in the bubble um, during the pandemic 2020 against Kingsley eBay, escaped with a draw, and he lost that fight eBay, I think, was unlucky not to win that. Since then, he hasn't looked fantastic. He had that main event in Rome against uh, Jay McFarlane and just looked pedestrian. That was just a few months ago. So I think top ranks like, well, we've got these guys. We need to throw them together, see what we've actually got. Because Shaw's undefeated was 18-0. Guido Vianello about you know a dozen fights on his ledger at the moment. Maybe the experiment with someone like Guido Vianello is like over you know, we're not going to be patient anymore. We're just going to throw him in. And if Stephen Shaw can actually go in there and look good and get a stoppage or just look spectacular and just beat him up and uh, beat him down, get a convincing decision, that's going to build Shaw's reputation or vice versa if Vianello does the same. But to be honest, and you can probably already tell, I think Stephen Shaw is going to have far too much for Vianello, who out of those guys, Jared Anderson, Guido Vianello, Sonny Conto, it sort of seems that Anderson's the only one that really looks like he's going to advance to any meaningful level in the division. Vianello has been so-so, Conto has been injured and seemingly a bit of a, fo a forgotten commodity at this point. So I think Shaw's going to go in there and do a number on him. They're going to use Guido Vianello, his undefeated re record, and basically say, look, I beat a good undefeated guy and springboard him onto something bigger and better. And maybe it's actually 
the winners of each of these fights face each other. Say, for example, if a Jugba beat a Revis or Revis um, beats a Jugba, then faces Shaw or something like that. And actually, I would like that, that match up as well, whoever the winners are of these two fights. It could be lo- that they're looking to do something like that as they try to position these guys in different sanctioning bodies for better and bigger fights at some point. A Jugba. You know, he's going to have his work cut out against a decent skilled boxer in Revis, but he does have gas tank issues, has to conserve his energy. This is Revis. So if a Jugba can actually bring it, use that jab, pressure, use that sort of effectively, get his straight punches away, throw a lot of jabs, make Revis work, he has a shot in this fight. And for Revis, I think probably he's going to need to knock him out because he could be at risk of getting outworked. But a Jugba, he is durable, but he can be hurt. So um, I'm interested in both these fights. What do you make of it all? Who do you think is going to win? I know some people are just saying Revis is going to beat a Jugba down. I think it's maybe a little closer than that. Um, Maybe it's a 55-45 to Revis, something like that. But I wouldn't be surprised if either guy wins because I think this is relatively evenly matched. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.